Sego se agwego what can you what can you hear now? Then what they are just the It's Chief Jessica Lazar for Chiefs Uncut. Um, I'm here to talk about some of the work I've been undertaking in the past couple of weeks. So a lot of my files that I do work on are very tedious files. They require a lot of meetings and a lot of work, a lot of reviewing documents, a lot of reviewing um, uh, wording and things that aren't necessarily exciting to talk about like other files could be. Um, one of the more, I guess, exciting things that are to come from my files is that we're looking at uh, Joward Odu priority setting. So with the Joward Odu uh, committee, we're looking at different things that need to be changed, different things that can be improved for the territory, in, uh, including the policies that, uh, that should be improved. So that's something to definitely look forward to. Um, another thing that I've been working on and will be working on hopefully in the coming weeks is to plan a hunter summit for Gahnawage. So this is something that's come from the Iroquois caucus and we are hoping that each of the communities from the Iroquois caucus will have their own hunter summit to discuss some of the challenges, some of the issues, some of the I guess different kind of information that hunters and harvesters could have to share with each other, to learn from each other and figure out solutions for some of these challenges. Um, in the future, I will be giving um, an update on the multi-purpose building at the community meeting on September 12th. So, there, so there's going to be a little bit more detail uh, at that time. So I hope to see you there and I will be there for any questions, including some of the building committee members who are made up of the different organizations that are helping make this project a reality. Another thing that I'm going to be, of course, attending is the AFNQL, um, AFNQL Committee on Languages and I will be attending that on September 19th, 20th and 21st. And this is something that's uh, close to me, close to the, the work that I want to put into the heritage portfolio and language revitalization. So I'm there to network, I'm there to get ideas from other communities and bring back information for our community to use best practices, to figure out different funding and to try and advocate for our languages uh, in the province. So thank you for listening today. I know it was short and sweet, but like again, a lot of the work I do is very, um, very tedious and not always exciting to talk about. So now for listening.